go straight to questions. It was a tough game for us. Gonzaga shot making really hurt us in the first half and in the second. So they made 12 of 22 threes, and uh, I thought that was the difference in the game. Uh, we, we struggled from the foul line in the first half in, in our shot making, and uh, should have been a lot closer up in that point. It's hard to be behind by six to 12 points most of the game and uh, try to come back on a team like this. Coach, I know how much you pride yourself on your team's defense. What did you make of the defensive effort tonight? Well, we, uh, we have to be better. and. Uh, uh, we've had a very challenging schedule early on here. We've had some injuries, and uh, tonight we were healthy uh, for the most part, with the exception of, uh, of Ronnie and Brandon. So uh, we still have two guys out. Uh, but uh, the nice thing is our, our experience and better players uh, that have been here uh, are healthy now. And so uh, frustrated with um, the defensive effort as far as challenging shots. And, and uh, we did a great job on the offensive glass the first half. Uh, they only had three offensive rebounds. And the second half, they, they had 11. So uh, we just uh, we have to go back and uh, understand uh, defensively what we have to do to compete at this level. And uh, like our teams in the past have, uh, we've been so good defensively the last four or five years. And uh, it's hard when teams get hot like they did from the three-point line. They, they made shot after shot tonight. And, and some of it was on us, but some of it was just Really good shot making by Gonzaga. You guys were all scored 27 to 10, like, I guess, in totality through the first five minutes of each half. Aside from that, you guys all scored them by a point. Does that make the film session a little bit easier to kind of go through understanding you guys played your style of play for from the beginning? Well, the first, the, we were down 15 to 2. We had five wide open threes to start the game. We went 0 for 5. And they made their first four, or made four out of the first five. So, as I said, the shot making, sometimes, you know, we ran great offense. In the first part of the, the first part of the game, yeah. guys were sharing the ball, and Boogie missed two wide open ones. DJ two and Kobe there, five straight wide open threes. We missed all of them, and that's how you get down 15 to two. You you, you can't uh, have one team make all the shots that, that that they shoot, and then we don't make any. You know, that's why I said you, you get behind 15 to two, and it's it's a it's a tough climb for for the next uh, 30 36 minutes. Um, in, in the second half, they made a couple threes right away again, and it's a couple of those were on us, uh, but defensively, but. Uh, you know, you, you can't, once a team like Gonzaga feels com confident, it, it snowballs and uh, it seemed like everybody on their team felt like they could make a three and they did. Andy, um, at times when you have Josh on the floor as the only big, um, it seems like he's not really looking to score. Is, is that a workable lineup for you in the long run? What, what do you mean? If you've got, Five players and one of them trying to score. Does that really work? Well, AP uh, played 20, 21 minutes, so we played big most of the game tonight. Uh, but we have to have better production from our centers, uh, Vince, Josh, Kajani. Yeah, we have to, AP. Uh, our big guys have to give us some points. AP, I think, had nine tonight. Uh, but uh, we we need better production. We also need them to rebound the ball uh, defensively, which unfortunately tonight our centers had no defensive rebounds. Between the two of them. Andy, you mentioned the, the schedule early on, just how tough it's been, and now getting healthy. Um, in, in building that chemistry to get ready for the back door season, getting everybody on the same page, now getting on there. And as everybody, as you get closer to having a full roster, um, is it make your job easier, or, or is there, are there still things you need to pieces you want to put in, in place? Or I mean, where are you at with that as far as you know, getting ready basically for the conference schedule with, with these guys coming back? Uh, well, we have uh, final exams that we play next Sunday against uh, at home, and then we go to Auburn at Auburn, and, and so so we have still have a challenging schedule through Christmas, and then we start the Pac-12. So, uh, we we have some veteran guys like the two guys sitting next to me that, that means a lot to them. Uh, there are two captains, and it's going to be their job uh, as well as the coaches to go back and and uh, figure out defensively how we can improve, figure out like you said how our big guys can can, can score the ball at a higher level. Now these guys can be more efficient on the offense and the defensive end. And, and so we do have some things to work on. It's always better to have a full roster to do those than you have. We've had so many injuries early on here in the pre or the beginning of the season that uh, I'm hoping, and we're all hoping that once our freshmen uh, keep improving, like AP and, uh, and Isaiah Collier, they played in some big games. And, and I think you saw some growth out of Arrington tonight. He played better, he's getting more comfortable, he's getting more active. Uh, 
And, and so we're going to need our full roster to compete at the level we want to get to. And, and I think uh, in our minds, that, that's coming here in the next few weeks. It's going to be a big month of December for us to keep improving. And then once Pac-12 starts, we need to be uh, playing a, a different level. You guys forced them into three more turnovers than they did more with the turnovers on the offensive side. I believe it was what, 21 fast break points and then 15 points off turnovers. Kind of where did the correction start to not let one bad play trip into the net? Uh, well, we had 10 turnovers for the game. That's, 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 a, that's a number where you can win. You can beat a team like Gonzaga, turn the ball over 10 times. That's a pretty good number. Uh, but I think uh, uh, a few of those gave them layups at the other end, some live ball turnovers. And so uh, they, they're very fast in transition. We had, we had a lot of transition opportunities. We must have missed eight or nine layups tonight uh, between our guards, our forwards, and our bigs. So they didn't, they didn't seem to have any trouble making their layups. We did. And uh, I, I think you look at those transition points, we had probably almost as many opportunities. We just didn't finish the shot. Uh, you know, um, just continue to. I feel like I feel like we we lost this game because we didn't do the little things. Um, we just we got to take care of that. Uh, communicating on defense, uh, we gave up 11 offensive rebounds in the second half, and I feel like every time we give up a turnover or or we give up an off re offensive rebound, they do something like uh, hit a three or something like that, and it kills kills our momentum that we're trying to build. So uh, we just got to take away those plays, and um, you know. I believe in all my teammates, and I know that they um, they put in the work, and um, we'll continue to get better. Coach, Gonzaga's answer for Isaiah was to double him anytime he put the ball on the floor in the paint. I'm just kind of wondering, his attack for that in the first half was to play make for everybody else. I think he had five assists in that first half. Kind of, what does that say about such a young guard to be able to kind of recognize the double team coming in and obviously be able to initiate on him? Well, well they, they played their normal defense. They hard hedged on the ball screen. So when these guys came off ball screens, they had their big guy out there hard hedging. I thought we got a lot of good looks throughout the game off our ball screen reads. And uh, when Isaiah drove in there, you're right, they collapsed on him like, like they do most guards. Uh, uh, I think uh, Isaiah did make some, some great passes and five assists no turnovers at halftime. You know, and, and he has to keep learning. He's getting better uh, uh, when there's frustration on his part. He needs to keep playing that game where he can get in there if he scored a ball, if he can score it, if not, kick it out. Uh, uh, like you, as you said, two or three guys are on him at the rim. Now it's time to pass the ball out to a wide open shooter. So, so uh, we are a work in progress. We're, we have some young players, especially at the point. And, and, and uh, you saw AP, Bronny's coming back, and then uh, Brandon Gardner has been injured. But our, our, our uh, veterans have, have got to step up here and carry us for the month of December and, and practices and, and teach these guys because they now have been in some big games. We played at Kansas State here in Vegas, and we had that tournament with Oklahoma and Seton Hall down in San Diego, and we played Gonzaga here in Vegas. So uh, I, I think our guys have a feeling now what it takes to be a, 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 top, a, a top 25 team in this country. And uh, we have a chance to get there very quickly. We can get back in the top 25. We just dropped out. Uh, so, so we're right there, but we definitely have to improve in certain areas if we're going to do that. For Kobe, what gives you confidence that come Pac-12 play, maybe you beat a team like Oklahoma, you're more competitive with Gonzaga. Uh, what just gives you confidence that you guys will make those improvements? Um, I think for me personally, uh, I think I just, um, I just got to stay in it. Uh, I wasn't seeing the fall, uh, balls go through the hoop today. And, um, it kind of threw me off a little bit, but again, um, I think come um, uh, Pac-12 play, I think we just got to clean a lot of the little things up, like what you said. Um, I think we just got to come together more as a team and just, because I don't think we understand how good we can really be. So I think once we figure that all that out, clean up the little stuff and, you know, play a full 40-minute game of USC basketball, um, I think we'll be in a good spot. For uh, Andy, how tough is their front court to deal with when EK and Watson go out and foul triple, they can still bring in Huff and uh, – well, I, th I thought that was the key to the game because they uh, they made ten. They were ten of sixteen between the two of them, and and four for six from the three point line. 
you know, we had wide open threes. We were we were six for 22. Boogie had four of them. So, so our our better shooters were missing wide open looks, and their two big guys who came off the bench weren't missing. And uh, they they had they had 26 points between the two of them. And and so Gonzaga is a very tough team to play. But when you have production, 26 points and two big guys off the bench, that that makes it a long night for us uh, and anybody that's guarding them. Uh, so give them credit. Their, their guys came off and made shots, and that's part of that shot making. Uh, once they saw a few go in, I thought the whole team got really confident, and every every shot they took, they thought was going in. And, and uh, we started out very slowly from the three point line and the foul line, so I thought that was a big difference in the game. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you.